Sheeran. I'm the water process engineer here at H2O Engineering and I'm here to show you our 1500 PSI uh, wine concentration reverse osmosis system. This is for a high-end winery up in Napa Valley to essentially bypass much of the first stages of the fermentation process and increase sugar content. So right here we have our inlet where you bring in your um, wine or grape juice and run down this header here where we have various instrumentation to measure process variables into the inlet of the pump where it's boosted up to 1500 psi 15 gpm comes out on your high pressure side um, goes through this is an eight um, vessel ro in in series and we can orient these valves to run either all eight or a single vessel based on how much volume you have to process and over here we have our permeate header where all these tubes are basically just uh, collecting all the water that's dewatered out of the juice and out of the front you get your highly concentrated higher sugar content product. Hi I'm Chris Nasty, engineering manager here at H2O Engineering going to demonstrate some of the control features of this 1500 PSI juice concentration machine. So you can see here we've got our nice touchscreen HMI. Um, the system is configured to run at both 208 or 240 VAC and 480 volts. So depending on what your facility power connection is, you can connect it either way. Once you get your hoses connected to the front of the machine, you can then access all of the run parameters through your HMI touchscreen. You do have the ability to run on or manual control, or there's three different PID loops, which means you can set a process variable, such as discharge pressure or flow, and the system will automatically run to meet that set point. You also do have the ability to back pressure the vessels to whatever pressure you want to with this needle valve. You can monitor on the pressure gauge right there. You can then also monitor your permeate flow and your retentate flow with the visual flow meters, as well as sensors on the HMI touchscreen and there is a whole f slew of safety features and alarming built into the system based on flow rates, pressures. We do also monitor product temperature. So if there is a threshold that you do not want to exceed for temperature, you can control that. And each one of those settings is user configurable just by accessing the touch screen. You can go to your alarm thresholds. You can scale analog values for flow, pressure, or temperature. You can change different set points for your PID control loops. And you don't have to switch your leads on your incoming power, you can just change the rotation of your motor right on this touchscreen without having to open your power cabinet. That's real nice. And all alarming is displayed on this screen. Anything in red would be an alarm and you would just touch to acknowledge and it would clear that alarm. And you can see all the different process variables and values displayed right where they would be on your PID 